everybody, back to the episode of Desert Storm Zombie Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and today we are over here. And, well, I'm just doing a little bit of exploring, trying to do a little bit of level up. And, and we came across this little lad over here known as Naz. And guess what he gets us? He gets us. Oh, hello, Survivor. The weather is very good today. It's very suitable for a walk. Are you looking for a password? I know that the electric generator code of the first institute is 52509. Meaning that we do not need to go and use our resources building up the fax robot. I actually came out here trying to get some resources to build it up. But, uh, well, it turns out Naz actually gave us our kind of ticket within. So, you guys, actually, I might try and see if I can't finesse this box really quickly and try to get ourselves some loot maybe some weaponry i don't want to attack this slow hunter fine i'll attack you slow hunter if you want to die so bad i'm happy to oblige god dang it i was about to say i'm happy to oblige but i guess we gotta take out the second dude first but yeah so this guy just exists and he kind of just told us uh, the keys to the institute so i think ooh, we're getting some good stuff over here too we are going to attempt to make our way within the institute today and hopefully walk out of there much richer than we walked in as well if you guys are new here make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with the desert storm survival series and many other dope survival games that we are checking out on the channel as well and if you guys do enjoy seeing desert storm survival definitely let me know by that like button and saying so down below so i know that you do want to be seeing more of this game because it is a mobile survival game as you guys are seeing that uh, does have some pretty interesting twists and turns and today we're gonna be checking out one of if not the most interesting of all the institute this game's version of the bunker and apparently from what i was hearing this game does things kind of interestingly and the bunker is quite different compared to what we're used to seeing so i'm gonna go ahead prepare our inventory and we're gonna head out on such shenanigans and uh, hopefully we're well equipped enough for Whatever the game's about to throw at us, because, oh, Nella, I'm not sure what to expect. So, I went ahead and placed this small box down over here, so we are prepared for that. And, without further ado, we will be seeing what the bunker has in store for us with hopefully enough loot that we're walking into this with. And, actually, a little bit of a detour that I'm a little bit tempted to stop by. We'll see how things go because I really want to make my bootay into the first institute and see what that whole shindig's about. But there also appears to be a primitive tribe. Mysterious primitive tribal ruins. There are legendary rare items so we might need to try and make a pit stop over there because going over here should summon some pretty feisty enemies trying to take us down but uh, i'm ready for the feist if things get fogly maybe we'll run over to that tribe over there and see what that old shindig is about but definitely let me know as well in that comment section what you guys think well, regarding what we're about to see down in this bunker, I'm not sure what to expect, but I do just know that a lot of people were saying that they really did some interesting stuff over in the lower floors. I think an update even came out like just last week for this game that added the second floor of the Institute as well. So hopefully we're going to have a good amount of stuff here to mess around with. There is a cyborg that we need to be little bit careful of and we should be able to actually sneaky deaky attack this guy and take him out in one fell swoop which would be ideal hello cyborg oh no okay hold on i was gonna try to swoop him i'll try to swoop him this time around and there we go he shouldn't be seeing us we're gonna go and get the jump on you and come on come on get the hit get the hit, get the, hit, get the hit. boom shakalaka that was weird. Hey, and there's the permit to get in. That was weird, though, because I was, like, holding the sneak attack button thinking that my dude would approach, but approach he did not. So, uh, well, we're going to have a couple of dudes over here to fight as well. First things first, let's toss this card down, and as soon as we got to open the doors and we got to get to running because we already got, yep, we already got some uh, friends over here trying to say hello, but we're saying hello back first, and... Our hellos just happen to be a little bit more painful than their goodbyes. Although they're still dinking us up a little bit. I think we're still getting the upper hand all in all. Let's try and get a couple sneak attacks on these guys. Clear out the rest of them. Oh, god dang it. That guy caught a whiff of us. But luckily, this weapon is amazing because it barely does enough damage to take these guys down within three hits. And we're getting a lot of these wooden gear coins. And the lower currencies that are only circulating inside the Institute... What is this? You can go to the store in Naz to see what good things can be exchanged. So, can we, like, enter the store? Make some money, money, money? 
Is that kind of like this game's version of the tickets and stuff? If so, I'm, uh, I'm intrigued, game. Please continue giving me these things so I could, uh, further test them, you know? Please, thank you. Let's go. Let's make it happen, but they're... Oh, mama, sorry about that burp. They're like... Oh, baby! And we're getting some good stuff in the form of weaponry and whatnot as well. We got... I'm not gonna be... I'll, I'll come back and grab this stuff later. I'm not trying to get anything too crazy here. I will grab some water. We do have some spinach as well that we could go ahead and grab. But I'm not trying to go too ham and fill up our inventory already because who knows what loot these lower floors will contain as we continue exploring everything that this game does have to offer. And for real, man, so far, it, it does appear like they're trying to do some new and interesting things. And I am intrigued to say the least. So I'm happy to continue checking it out. You guys seem to be enjoying this series as well. So like I'm saying, let me know that you guys are liking it by hitting that like button and saying so. So, god dang, we gotta start the generator heading in there and saying so down below so I know that you guys are enjoying it because I'm a man of the people and if the people want something, well, god dang it, they gonna be getting something and I am more than ready to hand deliver that bad boy. Let's begin the generator. And it appears that the shop over here has opened. Hello, Nas. Oh, I can't talk to you over the freaking desk. All right, I'll walk around here and ooh. Welcome to the store in Naz. Naz likes gear coins. If you have accumulated a sufficient amount of gear coins, remember to come here to exchange rich materials and check it out. You need more of the common ones and less of the rare ones. This is the way the bunker should be the last day on earth. We should have to return, we should have to redeem more green tickets and less red tickets. I'm, I'm cool with this, but first things first, we gotta try and collect all that and see what potential prizes the Institute has to offer. But for now, let's just go ahead and see, and get our health right back up and we must prepare for the depths in B1. There's going to be a total of three floors in this institute, so given the fact they've already done the second floor, I think that they're kind of moving this development at a kind of rapid pace, which is actually really cool to see because if, if all goes well and if it means what I think it means, that means that, uh, whatchamacall, that, I mean, they should be moving on to, like, potentially the second institute within a couple of updates or something like that, which is gonna be very cool to see, and oh, mama, this is not cool to see, this is not cool to see, oh, this is even worse, computer, don't lag now, don't lag now, I got some high-speed chasers to take down, and some of those coins to collect, and so far, it appears to be pretty run-of-the-mill, doesn't seem, like, too crazy, or, what is that giant ball over there? Doesn't seem too loco. Okay, and no one noticed us this time. This is where things get extra nice because our sneak attacks are a one shot, one kill. And if we go about this room just right, we should be able to one shot, one kill. Okay, maybe not that guy, but most of these guys pretty easily. So what up, stink maker? Oh, why you lag now? Why you lag now, game? That is the worst time imaginable. The game, dude, it's plotting with me. It's working with last day on earth. It just wants me to die. But no worries, this stink maker will be dying first. And ooh, he's dropping a variety of stuff for little old me over here. That's what I like to see. We might need to try and craft up some, can we craft bandages yet? No, that's at level 10. And I don't know if we're gonna be getting up to level 10 today. I'm, I'm gonna be trying my hardest, don't get me wrong, but we're gonna need to see just how hard that is to bring to reality. We're gonna need to sneak attack, kill one of these dudes and then finish off the other in a 1v1 melee battle. Goodbye to you and hello to that wonderful loot that you call your own and a desperate maker. Uh, why do I feel like that's this game? Hello, more guns. I like the amount of guns I'm getting out of this, but why do I feel like that's this game's... Uh, ooh, and a battery too. I just got a feeling that that is this game's version of the Frenzy Giant, given the fact that it's 500 health. That's quite a bit of health if you guys uh, weren't aware, so... I mean, the good news is we're getting a lot of guns out of here, so I'm gonna be ready to have these equipped. I don't know if he's gonna be on the other side of this. Oy vey. No, but he is within there, and as long as he doesn't start, like, running after us like a madman, which I fully expect him to do, I'm not gonna lie, we should be able to hopefully take him down and then continue going through the first floor of the Institute here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we got our bandages ready to go. We got a gun. Please don't be... Okay, he's not wicked fast. Bless up. And all that we gotta do is go ahead and take him down with this wonderful little pistol that we're rocking here. Just gotta be careful that, uh, you're not gonna start sprinting. Okay. It's not like the hard mode frenzy giant where he starts going super saiyan. That's good to hear. Let's go and equip the second poopy gun and take out the rest of you. And let's freaking go get our very first... Gold. I was about to call it green. They both start with G. Cut me some slack. Our very first gold gear 
And, uh, well, we're gonna need a lot more of those where that came from if we want to get some good stuff here. And there is definitely some good stuff in this institute that we will be calling our own. But, uh, for now, I'll go ahead, eat up one of those. Eat up a kebab in all of its deliciousness. Oh, is that another one over there? Is that, like, another one of the desperate makers, or are those just normal enemies? Okay, those are normal. I thought, like, the icon, like, the skull icon made them extra spooky. I think that's just the icon each of them have. Uh, so here... It appears we can get, uh... I'm, whoa, what is going on with this floor? This is interesting. I don't think we could go through that door, unfortunately. Maybe that'll lead it for a future expansion of this floor. That'd be very cool to see these floors get upgraded, but still. It's really cool to see that they've almost... Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. Uh, I'm gonna try to take these guys on one by... I don't know how this is gonna go. This could get foggy. This could get really fuggly. Oh, man, there's just a lot of enemies. Oh, Savenya! Oh, my God, only one dude ran after us. That's a miracle and a half. I will take what I could get. If we get a reward out of our first run here, too, that's going to be super cool. Uh, there's another dude over there, but someone's staring at him, which isn't ideal, so he's probably going to notice us. What? Nope! Oh, my God, we're the sneakiest, deakiest dudes around. And then we just got a stink maker over here that we got to take out. You can't really shuffle step like in Last Day on Earth. Maybe just because this weapon doesn't have the proper range. But kind of like stutter stepping after uh, every hit. It does seem like we hit a little bit faster. So I'm just going to keep on doing that. Maybe superstitiously. But it's not like Last Day on Earth where you can back up a little bit. And keep on getting slightly further away while still getting hits off on the enemy. At least from what I'm seeing so far. But dude, if this is what the bunker's like... First floor's looking intriguing, to say the least. Like, there's actually, like, a variety of ways to tackle this. Freaking cigars, this guy. These dudes. And I know that there's other loot here, guys. We'll be coming back for those right now. We're just trying to prioritize them big ticket items, you know? And we're gonna say, Auf Wiedersehen to that high-speed chaser over there. And Auf Wiedersehen to high-speed chaser numero dos. More like numero dead. You don't belong here anymore, my friend. You, well, you don't belong among the living. And given the fact, especially you're a freaking zombie, so the living are kind of totally spooped by you. I try to be a bit more understanding, but you gotta understand where I'm coming from. Uh, you're a spoopy dude. Alright, though, what do we have here? A couple high-speed chasers. Well, these guys should be going down plenty of easy-peasy. We got a stink maker over here. We gotta take down some dude up over on that little, like, uh, ridge or something. Our armor's about to break, which has me a little bit spooked as well. We're still doing okay. We continue getting a ton of these tickets, which is very nice to see, but I'm, dude... I'm a fan of this bunker so far, and I think it's just going to be really cool to see, first off, what the second floor has, but then, like, they're already almost done with this bunker, and I can't wait to see, you know, like, how different each bunker is going to be, since it's apparently, like, given the updates this game's gotten so far, they're updating it pretty consistently. This is definitely going to be a cool game to keep our eyes peeled on, so like I'm saying, hopefully you guys do stick around for that, and let me know if you do want to be seeing more. I know a lot of people aren't necessarily huge fans of other mobile survival games, because Last Day on Earth is, like, the OG mobile survival game game and i'm still playing last day on earth the most i still enjoy the bejesus how to last day on earth but i still think it's cool to be checking out other ones every once in a while seeing what they do different because sometimes they really do do some pretty cool things and so far dude this this we're getting a ton of levels first off all the way up to nine but this definitely seems like a pretty cool floor so far and between seeing how they handle a finished bunker what that's gonna be like like there's gonna be a it's just gonna be interesting to see man Definitely some stuff I'm excited to check out and hopefully you guys are excited to be a part of as well and ooh la la High speed chaser over here looking at some sort of a doorway that we don't have the permission to open god dang it Another doorway that leads to nothing over here. What's on the other side? Oh ma Oh mama Poisonous destroyer. I think that's this game's version of the toxic abomination All right, and if we head this way nothing but a dead end so we do need to head that way. Oh boy, I don't know how that one's gonna be going, boys. We probably got a hot swap to the iron rod after we open this up, but boop! Oh yeah, we already got our first two takers coming after us. I, I'm trying to get them to not be like on, right on top of each other, because that's gonna be kind of annoying to deal with, because I don't want to be like 1v2ing these guys. I wonder, actually, I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna see if we can't maybe pull off the uh elevator glitch where now that that door's open hopefully if we go back to the first floor those guys will respawn back at their original locations but the door is going to be open so this time we can try to draw them out one by one. Oh, mama all right i apparently the elevator teleports you outside good to know 
Good to know. Uh, I don't think I looted this one up yet, but we're already up to like 14 of these, four of those, like two of those. We're doing pretty good. Hey, more pantalones too. So we're doing pretty good in that regard. We got, uh, I'm going to try to leave some of this stuff behind that we don't necessarily need. I am going to, how up? God dang, I can't learn it yet. I was going to say learn how to make bandages. We'll learn that soon enough though. Uh, I really wish I had a nozagon or something because... Uh, at least like maybe some more melee. Did I open up every one of these? Just trying to make sure I don't miss anything because uh, This is this is the melee that we got our armor like I was saying is about to break We do have new we got like we got these things to put on no new shoes, but We got some armor we could toss on so we got that for us, but let's head back down to b1 and uh, What you got for me? Please don't tell me that they're gonna be all up in my grill. Do they respawn back at their original location? Oh bless up all right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And what is this doorway over here? Like, how do we get over here? Like, I think we need to like do a giant loop to loop. I think that's what this floor is. We're doing like a giant loop to loop through here. I think we're pretty close to completing it. Now don't quote me on that, but it does seem like we're making some pretty decent progress. So crossing my fingers that that may or may not be the case, but let's continue and uh, try to take these guys out one by one now. I just want to get barely close enough where one of them notice me and not the other one. Hello, my dudes. Hello. Hello. Just just one of you guys want to notice me. Oh, hello. Just right right here. Hi. Hi, diddly ho there, neighbor. How do you, uh, how do you do? I'm going to try to, like, I really don't want to be one of these guys. If I have to, I will. But, oh, there we go. Beautiful. And this is just going to make life way easier, guys, since we can only hit one person at a time. Might as well only have one of them hitting us back at a time. You know, no point in having two of them wail at us, wail on us at once while we can only wail on one of them. So doing this one by one is going to be a lot better of a tactic. We also do have some of that we could use to bring ourselves back up to full-ish health and... We should be able to get a sneak attack. I, I don't know if I want to sneak attack him, though, because he does have friends. And I don't want to get myself back into that situation where I'm dealing with multiple of these guys. So just kind of getting within range of you. There we go. And it is fun v fun time, my friend. I'm sorry I didn't have new boots to toss on. I might... Okay, okay, we're running, we're running. I want to put on some new pantalones because I am trying to take the minimal health damage possible. Not the maximum. So I'm just trying to kite him around a little bit. Cut a couple corners. Just get a little bit of separation here. A little bit of distance. So we could put on those brand new pantaloons. And continue today's epic battle of most epic proportions against this poisonous destroyer. Heal up as necessary. And hopefully put the finishing touches upon his death. That's a home run. Thank you for the stuff. Uh, I looted this up, right? Just making sure that I didn't leave nothing behind. Well, I did leave stuff behind, but I'll be coming back for that. I'm trying to prioritize those gears and see just how many we might be able to get from a single floor run. But, dude, this is cool. I, I, I hope you guys are seriously enjoying this series because it's it just cool to explore, like, a new game and kind of see how they go about handling it. And it does appear that they're kind of, you know, at least trying to do some pretty cool and unique-esque stuff with this. And I, I think that's definitely minimum worth a look. That's what we're doing, and uh, there's still a decent amount of, like, new things that I want to check out as well between, uh, whatchamacall. There's that, like, tribal place that I kind of want to check out. Maybe we'll be able to make a pit stop off over there. Worst case, we'll check it out at the beginning of next episode, but, I mean, the, we got the second floor, the third floor update, which is coming soon. Hopefully, we'll be ready to just dive into that update as soon as it comes by hopefully doing everything that we can now over here in the first floor to prepare ourselves. I'm just going to punch you to death, dude. Hope that's cool, but uh, you punch the rest of my armor to death, and all we have is a gun left. Not ideal, and oh baby, we got a frenzy giant up in here. So when we get this bad boy, uh, let's get a little bit of heals. Hello! He's also guarding a chest by the looks of it, so this gun should be. What happens if we use this? Uh, need to equip permanent firearms. Is this not permanent? Is, I mean, I guess it disappears. Is it like a special type of weapon that doesn't break durability but uses ammo instead? If so, that sounds. Are you serious? That's all you dropped? No gold gears? God dang it. But if so, that does sound like an interesting proposition. Let's see what we got in here. And we're, Oh, there's another room, too. Oh, room, ooh, and some nice-looking goggles. But uh, we got some potatoes. We could do some good stuff with that. And they got a stink maker up in there. I just don't have any good weapons to attack them with. I could try to learn. I can't craft any of these, though. 
If I had some wood and some stone, I could make like at least a poopy little sword here, but... Eh. Alright guys and gals, I wasn't planning on this, but there is a nifty little thing over here we could cop for like 99 cents that will give us a knife, which we kind of need, and on top of it, I think we'll even- We already have the small backpack though, so you don't need to worry about that, but also a little bit of food and just other like minor things like that, so... Ah, YOLO! It was only a single dollar we do, lads and lassies, cut me some slack. I just want to make sure- Dude, I'm looking so fly over here, still got the potato head, but at least I'm looking- can fly i just want to try and clear out this entire first floor and showcase it off to you guys and a single buck ain't gonna make or break that for me i'm more than happy to drop a dollar here and there to try and get y'all the best gameplay imaginable and hopefully clear out the entirety let's go we get in the level to clear out the entirety of this floor it's a day because oh man dude it looks like there's a decent amount of stuff to this floor too like we still got hello that's nice i think we need that for the chopper so i'll, I'll start picking up a couple of things here but like i'm saying i'll circle back try to grab these a bit more permanently and now that the room's a bit more open oh my god dude they're like mutating things left and right here and oy vey so i'm gonna try to take out this guy over here and then i will deal with the poisonous destroyer up next and Dude, look at all these rooms over here, like hot freaking dog. I'm just trying to figure out the game plan from here on out because I'm trying to like complete the circuit, complete this floor, but I just, dude, I don't, ooh, another desperate maker over there. And is that the way? We want to be heading towards that direction in general. So that might be where we want to go next. Uh, this gun will hopefully be able to take him out. And then I think that hallway might lead us towards the end. Uh, it looks like this might be a relatively enemy-free room. Eh, maybe not enemy-free, but not a lot of enemies. We got- Oh, what is this guy? Is that someone on patrol? Are you guys seeing this over here? King Kong hunt- oh, 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 oh. Uh, the King Kong hunter. Hey, big boy, how you doing? You gonna try to- He's gonna try to hit me through that wall. Um, well, here's the spooky thing. There appears to be a door that can lead to him. Uh, that's only extremely terrifying. We got a stink maker in that room. And then if we head over to Zisvan, this one appears to also have an enemy. Oi, that's a desperate maker. Uh, I'm gonna let some of these guys live for now. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to clear the entirety and see everything that this first floor has to offer. And, ooh, actually, ooh, baby. That's what I like to see. Ooh, that's what I like to see even more. All right, why don't we eat up some of these taters right over there? Uh, this is gonna be really nice just for getting like an initial sneak attack off on some of these guys, so check it out. We should actually be able to play this off very nicely over here with the Poisonous Destroyer. We're gonna go and get a single swing off on the dude, and then we will finish him off with this bad boy right over here. Run away a little bit and finish him with that swing. See you later. We'll take all that we can handle and check out a nifty byproduct now is since we decided to go this way, and uh, I don't know if that door can open. We might need to figure that out in the future because that is terrifying. I don't I don't even want to try to open that right now, guys. <laughs> and look at all this like advanced technology down here and stuff. Like what in tarnation is going on? We're gonna take out some of these high-speed chasers first and foremost. And then uh, we're going to avoid that frenzy giant for now. Or whatever he's technically called in this game, so we can save this gun for the future. We got the hallway of limbs and whatnot. Bleh. And if we head over this way, I believe... Ooh, where is that over there? Oh, okay. So what's this open? Oh, I can't open it. God dang it. But I think we could... I'm t oh, slow hunter. That's not going to be too bad. Oh, that's going to be bad. That's going to be bad. Um, Alrighty then. Swing, better, 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 swing. The good news is... Oh my God, that dude just entered a different dimension. The good news is, is that my weapon is able to do just enough damage to take him out swing by swing, so they're not able to damage us. But with just enough durability left over, I am able to pretty easily kill them. And uh, we can continue getting some of these level one... Uh, not level one, but these... Uh, what are these? I'll call these like copper or wooden gear coins, I guess. Silver and then gold being the ultimate ones. And there's a room over here. Nope, that's a frenzy giant. That's a desperate maker. So uh, we might come back and try to deal with all these guys when we could maybe have more than the amount of guns we have right now. Because the amount of guns we have right now ain't going to be doing us no favors. That's for sure. Uh, what we can do, though, is let's toss those bandages over there. Let's pick up that bad boy. And ooh, some dried meat. 
Uh, we might need to come back. I'll, I'll eat up one of those right now. I'll pick that up. What is that? That's just a battery. Probably have to come back for that at some point. But I want to... Ooh, what do you got in here? This guy dropped something? Hello? It says that there's a there's a question mark. That usually means something. I like things. Give it to me. Uh, ooh, who's this over here? Is that a desperate maker? Oh, god dang it, Bobby. Okay, can we, uh... Uh, sneak our way into here by chance. He, he he didn't notice, but I also don't have the permission to open that and we are so freaking close to the end. Oh man. All right. Uh, let's hope that we can take him out with this gun because if not, I don't know how this one is going to go, boys. Because I don't think we have the armor to withstand a hit from him either. So, hey, YOLO. What a desperate maker. I really hope I can kill you. And if not, I, uh, I think we'll have enough. Good thing that we didn't kill that first one. We're just trying to get through this floor, see everything that it has to offer. Thank you for the gold coins. That's a very a good sight to see for some sore eyes that are getting freaking just raffle stomped throughout this floor. And we got a couple of poisonous dudes that way. But we got a bone knife over here. Hopefully, is that like another frenzy giant? No. Okay, so I'm going to get a sneak attack off on him. I think this guy should be able to outrun him, so I'm going to take advantage of that and try to take him out in a 1v1 situation. Those are some weird tentacles coming from that place. Woo! We got the level up, which is going to be nifty because that gets us a full heal, and we're getting so much EXP from our first bunker run here. It's not the... or institute run, I should say. It's not the easiest run in the world, but it is, uh... It is going nicely for us, and that is something that I enjoy. And I'm sorry, my dude, I got enough rope for days. I don't know how to get into that. There's probably some secret compartment we could take somewhere. And is that a desperate maker? Please don't be. Oh, bless. Oh, my God. That's a giant shipping crate. Uh, can I get a sneak attack off on this guy? It's going to be. Oh, oh, my God. Bless up. Bless up. I don't know how that buffed out, but it did. That guy is blind because he should have easily been able to see us. Can I get into any of these rooms over here? Or are they all like locked off and stuff? Does this one open? Bruh. When will I get permission, man? Do I need to raise my hand? Do I need a bathroom pass for this? Like, jeez Luis, boys. Jeez freaking Luis. Show me what you got up in here. More melee? No. Ooh. Some cacti juice, though. Not too shabby. Let's take all that we can grab. And, oh no. Is that a... Not it's just a poisonous destroyer over there. We might even... Oy vey, oy vey. Check it out, baby, baby. Is that a completion? Can we open it from this side? Boom, shakalaka. And there you guys have it. The first floor of this wonderful place has been explored. I'm not going to say completed. Definitely some parts that we need to come back and hopefully kill some dudes at because there were like just people We weren't quite prepared to take on with our single bone knife. Hopefully we could get our hands on some more guns from I don't know just from anything. Hopefully that tribal area We're gonna try to make a pit stop over at that will be able to supply us some goods and hopefully we could uh, I don't know man. We gotta try and find a way to get some more ranged weapons under our belt I don't think but like we could craft this thing, but that's gonna say chromium I don't know if we could do that, but it does appear that there's a pretty reasonable to assemble gun. I think this might be like this game's version of the zip gun, maybe. But listen, anything that gives us range, especially against, uh, whatchamacallit, those desperate makers and the fact that they can probably one hit us is going to be a good thing in my eyes. And we got three entire days before that bad boy comes to a close. And ooh. We got an airdrop over here as well we can stop at. So definitely let's make a pit stop at that. And I think the game plan is, guys, we will be making an appearance over at the tribe in the very next episode as we continue exploring Desert Storm Zombie Survival. And some of the interesting stuff it has to offer, we've checked out a lot of these before. Uh, we still need to check out this one, though. The military convoy that transport them because they seem like they're doing some interesting stuff. And, uh, well, we still got the second floor of this to go. An update that will bring in the third floor because it looks like they're trying to complete it relatively quickly, which is going to be cool to see. We got to explore that. We got a whole ton of stuff to do. If there's anything specific you guys want to see, like I said, let me know in that comment section down below, especially while you're letting me know what you think of the series and if you want to see more by hitting that like button and saying so as well so I know that you want to see more because I know it's a mobile survival game, guys, but it's seriously like it. 
it's it's got some cool stuff going on you know and i definitely want to explore it and continue seeing what else it has to offer because uh, like they're trying to incorporate a couple cool things here there and we still gotta check out the second floor and maybe it's the second floor that i'm thinking of that's like a little bit different or whatever but at least like you know what else is great to see like variety and like when we clear out the bunker it's just cool to see and especially ooh, we gotta see if we can even tackle that boss at the end of that floor that's gonna be a big if but it's just cool to see like a bunker and like a different layout that we got to tackle and i don't know i just love seeing new things boys and girls it's always it's always a great sight i feel like and ooh, another bone knife i feel don't mind if i do let's just make sure no one's trying to run up on us and eh, as much as i love you pickaxe you gotta go for better things and ooh, we got some popular wooden boards as well water as much as i enjoy you as well i will be saying hello to the wooden boards and i kind of want to pick up these springs too i'm not gonna lie i don't know oh hello slow hunter how do you do oh mama oh mama i got to pee i gotta pee I, you know what no 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 uh uh, 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 I don't, I don't want to. Uh, uh. All right, boys. High speed chase. We're getting the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> oh, man. So well, we're going to try to walk out of the map really quickly. Then we'll walk back in. Hopefully pee in peace. And then we can, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, take out this guy and go and get those wooden planks when we're not in this highest speed of chases. Dude, this is probably the highest speed chase of, like, the 21st century. I, we're not even in the 21st century like this is pretty futuristic but uh yeah let's please just uh leave the vicinity i gotta take a bathroom break all right we're gonna be back boys we're gonna be back no worries about that <laughs> holy goofball batman that is just goofy i hope it doesn't spawn right by where i come into the map oh there we go all right we can be in peace ah marvelous exactly what I was in need of. And you done? You done with your... Okay, there you go. He's done doing that. Hello, slow hunter. I will say guten tag to you and to your head as well. And then we will see what this place has to offer. Well, we've already seen what it has to offer, but we'll see what we can't maybe swap around and uh, come home with. I think that's the ultimate game plan here. And I just... I don't know what to get rid of. I, I don't... I don't... Ah, the scrap metal, actually. Dude, that's like three scrap metal let's be honest i might have thought that that was iron and picked it up instead was that did we find that during this there's probably a decent chance we did but we're still walking out of here with pretty good stuff all in all we gotta drop this stuff off at home like i was saying and then i need to make my way over to that tribe because that's where we're gonna be kicking off the next episode at but with that said with that done that's gonna start bringing an end to this episode of desert storm zombie survivors we tackled the first floor of the institute the second floor is still to come the military convoy location as well not to mention that tribe and especially the updates that this game is getting because it's not just like a game that came out and doesn't have updates like it's already had a couple of updates so we're gonna try to stay on top of those as well and continue seeing what cool things are added because like i'm saying it it does seem like they're trying to do some unique things that we haven't necessarily seen and that's always cool so i'm down to uh you know i'm trying just to stay in the loop with it but with that said with that done that's gonna wrap it up for me for now thank you guys a whole son for watching huh this was an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one See ya.